The last year has been amazing at the Pensions Advisory Service. We've seen a huge increase in the number of customers contacting us. So in 2014-2015, we had 103,000 customers at the TPAS. In 2015-2016, we had over 188,000 customers trying to get in contact with us, wanting to talk about their pension, which I think is a fantastic opportunity for us now to get people more engaged in thinking about pensions. We see a huge range of inquiries from the customers that contact us through to some very simple process questions about how do they access their money or how do they buy a pension product through to more complex ones. We tend to always get quite a few questions about making sure they make the most of their money and get the tax benefits or the tax relief that they're going to get. But I think the one thing I've learned since I've been at TPAS is quite often the question that the customer comes to us to ask isn't actually the question that they need answered. So one of the skills of my team is to try to make sure that they give the customer enough information so that they can then go forward and be asking the right questions of their providers or their advisors so that they really make the most of their pension schemes. I think the key thing that we need to do is we need to get people to appreciate that the world has changed so much. Um, the good news story is that people are living a lot longer, um, but as a result of people living a lot longer, we've seen this dramatic change in pensions. You know, back in you know it was the old days where you used to join an employer, they put you into the pension scheme, and then you were in that right up until the time you left and you got your clock and and you got your pension. The world is so different now, and people are moving jobs and people are having to take their own individual responsibility and what we really need to do is give people sight of the fact that whilst your parents may not or your grandparents may not have needed to plan for their retirement the world has changed and today one of the benefits of living longer is people now need to take personal responsibility for the income that they're going to have in retirement and I really think as an industry we need to make that intervention for 50 year olds today to actually say the world is different it's it's good news, you're going to live longer, but it's your responsibility. And so whilst you may not have seen your parents be so active towards their pension, you have to be in order to have a happy and fun retirement. We have two measurements of success and after a customer comes to us they do complete a survey. The first measure that we have is do they feel more confident that they know the question and they understand the pension that they've got. The second question that we ask them is do they know what the next step is going to be, where they need to go to get further information. Because pensions are so complex, it may mean they have to go to three or four more places after they've spoken to us, um, but we hope that they know what those stages are and therefore can navigate the pensions landscape, which can be really complex. But I think the big thing that we give them when they speak to the Pensions Advisory Service is people don't know what they don't know. And one of the things we find is that by speaking to people about the decisions they're going to make, the difference that um, certain actions could do to providing a better income in their retirement, they are better equipped to go and sort out their retirement income. And we're very proud of the fact that about half of the people that speak to the Pensions Advisory Service realise the importance of the decision they're about to make and then go on to find a regulated advisor to help them through the whole of the decision making process and a recommendation about how best um, to take their pension in retirement. Thank you.